If you've ever struggled to get a clear, high-quality echocardiography image, this video is for you. Are your images blurry? Are you unsure where to place the probe? Don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly where and how to position the probe for perfect diagnostic images every time. Let's get started. Before even placing the probe, let's talk about probe orientation, a small detail that can make a huge difference in your image quality. Every ultrasound probe has a notch or dot. This is called the probe marker. It determines how the image appears on the screen. If the marker is positioned incorrectly, your images will be flipped or distorted, making interpretation difficult. For transthoracic echocardiography, the marker should always be directed in a specific way, depending on the view you want to obtain. Let's go through the standard probe positions, step by step. Parasternal long axis view. The foundation. Start by placing the probe on the left side of the sternum, at the third or fourth intercostal space. The probe marker should be pointing towards the right shoulder, around the 11 o'clock position. If you're struggling to find the heart, ask the patient to take a deep breath and then fully exhale. This helps bring the heart closer to the chest wall, improving image clarity. In this view, you should clearly see the left and right ventricles, the mitral and aortic valves, and the left atrium and aortic root. Common mistake, placing the probe too high or too low. If your image isn't clear, slide the probe slightly up or down along the sternum until you get the best view. Parasternal, short axis view, the cross section. From the long axis view, rotate the probe 90 degrees counterclockwise so the marker now points towards the left shoulder around the one o'clock position. In this view, you can visualize different cross sections of the heart depending on how you tilt the probe. At the base, you'll see the aortic valve with its three cusps. At the mid-level, you'll capture the mitral valve opening and closing. And at the papillary muscle level, you can assess left ventricular function and wall motion. More inferiorly or towards the apex is the mid-papillary view. Standing up towards the head, you can see the fish mouth mitral valve. Most superiorly, you can begin to see the aortic valve. Common mistake, not tilting the probe correctly. If your aortic valve isn't clearly visible, try slightly tilting the probe superiorly or inferiorly to find the best window. Apical four-chamber view, the whole heart in one frame. This is one of the most important views because it gives you a complete look at all four chambers of the heart. To get this view, place the probe at the cardiac apex, which is usually found at the point of maximal impulse, around the fifth or sixth intercostal space at the mid-clavicular line. The probe marker should be pointing to the left at three o'clock. If done correctly, you will see the left and right atria, the left and right ventricles, and the mitral and tricuspid valves in motion. Common mistake. If the heart looks foreshortened or squashed, adjust the probe by angling it slightly upwards or rotating it slightly until all four chambers are well aligned. Subcostal view, the backup plan. What if your transthoracic windows aren't great? No problem. The subcostal view can be a lifesaver. Place the probe just below the sternum, in the subxiphoid region. The marker should be pointing left, at 3 o'clock. Now angle the probe superiorly, pointing towards the heart. If done correctly, you'll get a clear four-chamber view, which is especially helpful in patients with lung disease or poor acoustic windows. Common mistake not using enough gel. The subcostal view needs a lot of gel to ensure smooth transmission of ultrasound waves. Suprasternal view, looking at the great vessels. For this view, place the probe in the suprasternal notch and direct the marker towards the patient's left ear, around the one o'clock position. 
This view helps you examine the aortic arch and its branches, which is particularly useful for detecting conditions like aortic coarctation or dissection. Pro tips to instantly improve your imaging. Use plenty of gel. Air is your biggest enemy in ultrasound. A generous amount of gel ensures smooth ultrasound wave transmission and a clearer image. Check patient positioning. The left lateral decubitus position, lying on the left side, brings the heart closer to the chest wall, making transthoracic imaging much easier. Adjust depth and gain settings. If your image looks too bright or too dark, tweak the gain settings instead of repositioning the probe repeatedly. Sometimes, a small setting change makes all the difference. Mastering echocardiography takes practice, but once you get the hang of probe positioning, your images will be sharp, clear, and diagnostic every time.